So it's a free day weekend this week. We're going to love President's Day. No school for our students and teachers. So I'm quite excited. I should probably make a video because, you know, free day weekend, so I can take tomorrow and Monday to rest. Also, you know, it's unacceptable. I'm like up one once every month, so I should probably work on that. Also, my new phone comes in Friday, so yeah, that's exciting. I'll make an unboxing, and then hopefully this trash video quality will be gone because, like, I have a five-year-old phone, and, like, yeah, I'm going to have a new phone, S22 Ultra, 256 gigabyte. You know, getting a new phone, a Switch Ultra, 1,300 bucks, not bragging or anything. Just, yeah, I'm quite excited. It has a stylus and 10x zoom, optical zoom, and not digital. Moonshot capability. Oh Moonshot capability. I'm quite excited for that. So yeah, I should probably uh, get going. And then Friday, this changes. This is the last time you will have bad quality. On to the workout video. I will also put a scale for the workout. Like if I say, for example, one to five, I'll put one easy, three intermediate, just as an example. But uh, yeah, let's get started. First workout, sit-ups. I recommend doing anywhere from five to, I would say around 60. If you're really advanced, maybe 100. But uh, yeah, for easy, I would rate it in the, I would rate it five to 10. For intermediate, anywhere from 10 to 15 around there, all the way up to like 30. And then, yeah, 45, 60, that's the really advanced level. And then 30 to 45, that's gonna be near hard. So yeah, I'm not doing them all the way, just doing them as an example. Next workout, this is a real bodybuilder. Like, you'll get a six pack fast. Like, 10 minutes of this and bam. All you, all you have to do is, you have to do the sit ups. No, sorry, uh, you have to do the weight workout. I have some dumbbells right here, eight pounds each. All you have to do, do this, ugh, and yeah, 10 minutes of this, and you have a small six pack. Oh my god. Oh, this is only eight pounds, guys. Look at the back of that. That's, that says eight. I don't know if you can see that. The quality on that trash. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is heavy. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's super heavy. Ugh. Next, so yeah, sorry, I'm um, kind of tired. What I was gonna say was next workout, but yeah, I forgot the scale. So a scale would be five is easy, 10 intermediate, and then 15 to 20 advanced. Oh. And then for this one, one to three is easy, three to six is medium, and then Six to ten is hard because these are really hard, so that's why I'm putting it low. It's squats with dumbbells. Oh my god, this is. I want to do one because it's super. Oh. Oh. Feels so good when I get that off. Okay. Next workout. Uh, I would rate easy anywhere from ten to twenty, medium from twenty to forty, and then. 40 to 80 would be hard. These are jumping jacks, obviously. Okay. Next one. You have to do leg raises. Okay, now, I would recommend five to start with. 10 is easy, and then uh, 20 would be like intermediate. And then uh, 40 to 60. That would be your like hard level. There's uh, something called a one leg raise where you alternate or the both leg raise. My scale is on the both leg. So uh, yeah, you want to double the number if you're going to do this one. 
but I'm gonna do the both. Ugh. Do it at this angle so you can see the how it's done. Just like raise your legs, not too hard. Okay, next angle will be sideways. So I'm gonna redo my blanket because uh, next one is push ups. Just gonna be at this angle for a little bit. Um, yeah, next next one is push ups. Uh, for, for easy, I would recommend around five, ten, and then intermediate will be ten to fifteen, and then fifteen to twenty would be hard. I would recommend going further than twenty because you could tear your muscle. So just be careful. I would just, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do one to show you how it's done. <gasps> Shots of hair angles in there. Uh, plank. Let's discuss 
this. Ugh. Only do this. Only do this if your doctor says you can. I'm okay with it. I don't have anything preventing me from doing it. But if you have like, I don't know, like, I don't know what you would have, but if you have anything, don't do this. Check. This is the good tear muscle. Uh, easy, five to 10 seconds. Uh, medium, 10 to 15. Hard, 15 to 30. And possibly 45. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, just saying, if you are, you can, not stopping you. Just warning you, let's go five seconds. <sighs> That's going to see the house, but I'm just going to get back up. So, yeah. Now, conclusion. This is the conclusion. I got the introduction in the body. Can't forget the conclusion. I should probably stand up for this. The conclusion. All in all, this workout, I would rate it on a scale from red to green. Red being awful to green being nice, like really good. I would rate it high yellow, low green. Like I could see people who have disabilities or are weaker than I am. Like, I would see people like that, they could rate it in the low yellow and possibly high red. But yeah, for a normal person like me, I rate it in the high yellow to low green area. I would rate it like a, yeah, around seven and a half, eight out of 10. So yeah. And also, this is the last video where we have to deal with this quality because I'm getting a new phone on Friday. And yeah, I will put a picture up in the editing. I will edit this because remember I spend hours on these videos. What time is it right now? Let me go on my phone and check. It's up on the tripod. It is 7.43. So, I'll probably be spending until like 9 o'clock on this video. And remember, I live in Florida, so it's going to be Eastern Standard Time. So, for every time zone between you and me, just subtract an hour. And yeah, this will probably be uploaded by 9.30. How much storage do I have left? How big is this file? Okay, that's like 2 gigabytes. So, yeah, I don't think it will take that long. That's pretty good internet. So I'm gonna get on the frame here. Um, so yeah, new phone Friday. I'll unbox it. You know, I will. I won't set it up on camera because I don't get my account. So I'll probably be spending a few hours on that. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I fall prepare. You think I'm a YouTuber? One more week, and you're gonna be a YouTuber. So yeah. Because, let me tell you something. This S22 Ultra has an ultra wide camera. I'm just using my arms to like make the field of view. Ultra wide camera has a regular camera like what you're using, like what you're seeing now, but it's better quality. 3X optical and then a 10X optical. It's not the exact field of views, but it's pretty close. 10X optical can go is the one that accesses the space field. So yeah, I'll clean up my setup. And yeah, have a good day. I hope you enjoy. And peace out.